Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the Movie for the Sega Genesis. And this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, over the years I've already done various uh, Power Rangers games, as well as the original series and the movie. But this on the Sega Genesis is an arcade style beat-em-up. So I figured you guys might enjoy this. In fact, when I did like a Power Rangers marathon of when I was streaming like various Power Rangers games, believe it or not, I think this was the only game that I actually did not play. And I can't believe I forgot about this. But I might as well play it now for your enjoyment, so hopefully you will enjoy. I remember watching the movie when I was a kid when our small hometown actually had a theater, which right now obviously is not in operations anymore. So there we go. Let's have some fun. Alright, you can play this as two players, but obviously I'm riding solo here. And I'm not talking about the US soccer goalie either. Hey yo! <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to play on normal difficulty because hard mode is obviously, well, hard. 6,000 years ago, a morphological being known as Ivan Ooze ruled the world with a reign of unparalleled terror. He rid entire planets of their adult population, then brainwashed the young to follow in his evil path. A faction of young warriors known as the Order Meledian lured him into a hyperlock chamber and buried him deep underground. Present day, Angel Grove. An inner city construction crew accidentally uncovers the hyperlock chamber and releases the evil power of Ivan Ooze. Since, of course, the Power Rangers are from around Angel Grove, of course, the evil being would be in their hometown. That's usually how it works. Not mere coincidence at all. Okay, so obviously you get to select whatever ranger you want to start with. Um, I think we're gonna start with the yellow ranger first. Oh god, that uh, cry was a bit gargled. Okay, remember, C is jump, B is attack, A is your spin kick that you might have to use if you get crowded. It does hurt you a little bit, but you'll be fine. What you also see here is a time limit. So if you do not defeat the enemies within that time limit, you actually start taking damage. And of course, you will gradually die. So yeah. In normal mode, your time is 60 seconds. Why do these guys look all the same? In easy mode, I think it's 90 seconds. And in hard mode, it's 45 seconds. And of course, the enemies are tougher to kill in general. Okay, the seconds actually go in like sh longer time than regular seconds do. So you can use that to your advantage. Combos are actually pretty nice, too. I like that. Also different from the SNES version, this is a beat-em-up, but you also start at, in your Ranger suit. And you sometimes get coins based on, like, the Power Ranger logos. The uh, Pterodactyl one gives you enough HP so you probably have half your health back. The uh, Tyrannosaurus, I believe, gives you an extra continue. So you do have, like, limited credits for this game. I might as well go all the way to the end of this. I don't want to go to Subway. I really got good sandwiches, but I got things to do. What's the point of eating a sandwich if you're going to be taking damage over time anyway? Because I'm not killing these guys. Yeah, so how do you get these coins? Well, sometimes enemies will drop them. Ah, that's a chokehold. I don't like that. I'm pretty sure that's an illegal move. Uh, I think that was the Triceratops, and that also gives you some health, but not as much as the Pterodactyl one does. Wow, I got all three of them at once there. Lots of ooze men in this level, I must say. Well, that's pretty much the majority of what you're going to be fighting in this game, so don't be surprised. We might run into some putties too, but who knows. We also might not. Okay, I'm moving, but yet the time has not uh, reset. Oh, something big's about to happen. Hey, Ivan, what's up? Wow, that's rude. I don't appreciate that. And we just cleared the stage! Alright, so we should get a very good score for this. 
I don't know if a high score also gets you continues, but hopefully it does. My vitality was pretty much at max, so I'm not surprised I got a lot of points. Yeah, you can just press any button to make it go faster. Once released from the chamber, Ivan wastes no time in destroying Andros, I mean Zordon, and attacks the command center, damaging Zordon and Alpha 5. With Zordon down, the Power Rangers lose their powers. Alpha tells them of a power that will help save Zordon. With hesitation, Alpha sends the Power Rangers to the planet Phaedos to find the Master Warrior who will help them gain the power they need. Meanwhile, Ivan has gained mind control of the adults of Angel Grove and taken out Lord Zed and Rita. Oh yeah, that's when they were putting the st snow globe. <laughs> After landing on Phaedos, the Power Rangers run into Dulcea, the Master Warrior who saves them from the Tengu tribe. She guides them to the Neola jungle, where they will find the power that they are looking for. She warns them of the danger and sends them on their way. Before they go, Dulcea gives the rangers the animal powers of the Ninjetti to help them survive. Continuing on through the jungle in their new ninja uniforms, the Power Rangers encountered many difficult enemies, including the stealth skeleton creatures and the stone gargoyles. In the meantime, Ivan has used the adults of Angel Grove to help dig up two of his morphological monsters, the Scorpitron and Hornitron. Back on Phaedos, after defeating the Stone Gargoyles, the Rangers find the Temple of Great Power. They discover how to gain the Great Power of the Temple. With the last of his power, Zordon contacts the Rangers and tells them about Ivan. With their new power, the Rangers blast back to Earth. They land in Angel Grove as Ivan's Ectomorphicons are destroying the city. The power is on! Maybe we should turn it off for the power bill to be too high. Wow, this is a long cutscene just to transition to stage two. I think there are six stages in this game. Alright, so obviously the rangers do look the same. Why don't we go with Billy, the blue ranger? I'll try to play as every ranger at least once. Given that there's enough stages to do so. Whoa! Uh, maybe you should warn me a little bit sooner, you damn truck. Learn to obey the rules of the road. Why are you driving on the left side? Angel Grove is based in America. Don't you know, like, every popular, like, uh, kids show is based on America? Because that's what every monster wants to attack. The entire world is basically America. Wow. Okay, some of the Usman have new attacks. Well, these fly a bit faster. Hey, did you dodge my... Did you just run around me? Huh, you can do a backflip. Oh, I got an extra credit for that. I think you only get like one life per credit. So you gotta make them count. Man, these guys are dropping pretty fast. How many of them are there in this part? Oh, I was hoping the that old, like, I don't know, vintage vehicle would run them over. There we go. Ah! Just as soon as I got some life, I wound up losing a bit. There, that's the last of them. Ah, get off me! Yeah, remember, the spin kick does hurt you, but if you're surrounded, you, you pretty much have to use it. Otherwise, you'll be taking even more damage from their attacks. I was hoping they would just do that in traffic. That would have been so hilarious. Ah! God. Do 
Do I have like two health bars? I don't know. Because once the blue is depleted, then I'm just down to yellow. Ah, they get the choke hold on me. They're annoying because they just like to teleport all over the place. And that makes them a little bit tougher to uh, pinpoint and strike. Oh yeah, you would honk for those guys. Wow. I'm trying to save you guys here. Also, how the hell are still adults driving? I thought they were all, like, uh, excavating. Or maybe it's just certain adults that gotta do that. Yeah, it wouldn't be every single one. That'd be nuts. Okay, so I do have another health bar that's like a red one. And I guess once the red one is down, I, down to black, it's just nothing. That might make a bit of sense. If you're only getting like one life per credit, you might as well make that health bar big. Oh man, these guys are just constantly coming all over the place. Phrasing Bonga, you know what you're talking about there. As you can tell, beat em ups are not really my jam, because otherwise I'd be doing a hell of a lot better with the uh, crowd control aspect. I don't think there's any more cars still coming, is there? Oh, how the hell did you pick me off like that? That was an awkward strike. Oh my god, these parts are so long. Ooh, I just got poked with the uh, fire stick. I remember the Usman actually having that kind of attack. Like, they have swords that catch you on fire. I did not think that was a thing. Then again, I don't remember everything about the movie anymore. Thank you for warning me that you were coming. Oh god. Oh, okay. Aw, oh, they did not get run over. That's sad. That would have been cool. If you lose a life, do you just get to continue where you left off? I hope you do. Because I really hate to do all this again. Okay, I'm, pr I'm pretty much in dire straits right now. Can't afford to take too many dumb hits. Oh. Oh, that was so big. I really needed that. Let's, let's finish this. Oh, okay. Ooh, Triceratops also gives you health. Okay, I'm seeing blue on my health bar again. Hey, hey where are you going? You just showed up and now you're morphing again? You're just costing me time, dog. Maybe they're self-aware. Like, if we just stay here forever, he'll just gradually lose health anyway. Did I just grab him out of nothing? That's a weird glitch. He wasn't even there. Now I'm at full health. Maybe I grabbed that too soon. I didn't even try to for a moment there. But I grabbed it, so I'm gonna make good use of it. I think this might be the last of them. Run him over! Oh. They just split into three? Nah, they didn't. It's like fighting black puddings in D&D all over again. I don't think tires can do slashing damage. Usually they're the ones that take slashing damage from a Jilted X. <laughs> hey, that one got run over. Didn't take that much damage. Uh-oh. Time is running low. Oh, I just saved it. At least 
Huddies wouldn't be this much of a jerk. They, because they can't really like turn into well slime. They actually stay and fight. Oh, oh. Uh, why do so many cars have tinted windows in Angel Grove? I never really thought of it as that kind of a dangerous place. I'd imagine tinted windows are not really effective against Oozman or Putties. Just saying. I don't think they'll be going at what's in your CD tray or anything. They don't want your mixtapes. Oh, there we go. We're done. Nope, oh, there's another part. Ooh, I guess this must be the boss. What, Hornetron and Scorpitron? Do I have to fight both of them? Oh, you get to choose your Zord! Uh, I guess uh, Ninja Megazord or Falcon Zord. So this is a new uh, combat aspect. When you're playing as the Zords. Let's go with the Falcon Zord. Okay, C is your block. B is your attack. Did I just grab that one? Ah, oh, that's hilarious. Oh yeah, then they got attacks on me too. Okay, so Falcon Zord I think would have an easier- Hey! Did you just like- My dash attack and you just went and grabbed me like it was nothing. What the frig? Okay, these guys don't seem that hard. Oh, unless you like go right into the lasers like an idiot. Huh, the grab did a lot of damage. And I'll just keep doing it. Okay, apparently their attack just blocked my guard like it was nothing. Oh, he just got away, so now I gotta fight Scorpatron. Okay, is Scorpatron invincible? Oh, no, he's not. Just you have to be lucky to hit him. Blocks a lot of your attacks, it seems. Because he's so low. Okay, apparently you have charge attacks. Of course, you have to get him in range. Which he hardly is! Oh my god. Okay, you can do a grab a can Grab a track. Grab attack on him, too! Okay, what? How the hell does he break your combos like that? I didn't think that guy could jump! Oh my god, like, every attack just knocks you down. Okay, I'll just have to sidestep him while he's doing the lasers, and then just grab him. That might be the best thing to do. Huh, I'll just spam grabs, yeah. This could pretty much win it for me. Oh, he just used his own grab. Ah, oh, I trashed it. Nice. Oh, and we won. Cool. And that's the end of the stage. Wow. Got through that real quick. Had a bit of a struggle, but eh. Oh, I think you get more points if you use your special move, which was A. Boy, when I joined, I didn't think that things would get this rough, Rocky spoke. No kidding, Aisha replied. Adam replied, remember when we joined? Flashbacks. At Rita's moon base, Lord Zed suddenly appears and seals Rita away for a couple of eons. He has his own plans for the Earth, ones that Rita could not handle. The Green Ranger has been losing his morphing powers, Zed's new putty putties are giving the Rangers a very tough time. Even the Megazord and Dragon Zord have been defeated. It seems like a time of darkness is about to come. As Tommy's Green Ranger power faded, Zordon transformed him to the stronger White Ranger.
All right, now we're on to stage three. Okay, this is actually pretty different. Now, the uh, Red Ranger and the uh, Black Ranger and the Yellow Ranger are what they were in the original series. Okay, so this is different. All right, so we're back to Trini, Jason, and Zack. All right, so I think I'm going to stop here, and in the next part, I'm going to select my Ranger for stage three. Goodbye, everyone.